So here is horrified. So first things first. As with most games, let's have a warning. So usually in a multiplayer game your Terra Max starts on zero, but in solo play it starts on three. Everyone's just a little bit scared that there's only one hero coming to save the day. So now we'll just put the dice nearby, all the villages nearby, and now we get to pick the monsters. So we've got things like the creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula, the mummy, Frankenstein and his bride, the Invisible Man, the Wolf Man. So we're going to do a normal game, which is against three of these. So we're going to randomly just mix them up. Hopefully we can fit everything on. Okay, so we're going to do the Invisible Man. Dracula. Let's get Dracula on more on screen. And... Creature in the Black Lagoon. So Frenzy Mac is going to go on Dracula. Okay, so we've just we've just adjusted everything a little bit just to make a little bit more space where we can put our intrepid hero. So now we need to complete the setup for each of our monsters. So let's for a start let's put them in our in uh, Frenzy order. So, Dracula. Place Dracula on the board at the crypt. And we place his coffins at the crypt. The dungeon. The graveyard. And the cave. This is where Dracula has hidden all of his coffins. And he is sorted. So, Dracula is seeking blood. Destroys four coffins so you can subdue him. On a special attack, he uses Dark Charm. So what we have to do is we have to use a strength of six red items on each coffin to destroy them. Once we've done that, we go to Dracula's space and use a strength of six yellow items to kill him. Look at him, there he is. Fearsome. He's fearsome. All right, the creature from the Black Lagoon. So we place the camp overlay. And we place the creature at the lagoon. Look, there he is, look. That's my impression of the, the creature. Um, and we place the boat on its start in space. So... The creature strikes from the depths. Locate his water retreat so you can oust him. So on a special attack, he rocks the bow and moves the bow one spot backwards. So what we have to do is find the hidden lair by using yellow, red or blue items to move to the matching colour, to the next X of the matching colour, until we reach his lair. And then we drive the creature away, where in his space we use yellow, red and a blue item to defeat him. No problem. And then finally, the Invisible Man. Where we need the precinct overlay. And we place the Invisible Man. There he is. Bruh! Terrifying. At the inn. So the Invisible Man has gone mad. Collect proof of his misdeeds so you can catch him. So his special attack is Stalk Unseen. Move the Invisible Man two spaces towards the closest villager. So to defeat him we need to supply evidence. We need to place yellow, red or blue on the spots below that match the item's location. So we need stuff from the inn, the barn, the mansion, the lab 
and the Institute. Once we've done that, we can trap the Invisible Man by using red items with a strength of nine to defeat him. That's that's big. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of strength we need. Okay, so we will place our shuffled monster deck. We're going to put that up at the top for now, and we will have our special hero deck. We'll take one because we're going to need that in a second, and we'll place that up at the top too. And finally, we're going to mix up our hero badges and see who our sole hero is for the village. So in a solo game, you can't be the courier, but that's the only limit. So here goes. We are the professor. And the professor starts at the hospital. So the professor may move any hero or villager one space as a special action. That's good. I also quite like that he's purple or plum colour. So those of you out there who play Cluedo or our friends across the pond who call it Clue, Professor Plum, right there. One of these, a hero may give any number of items to another hero no matter where they are. So this one we can get rid of because we're on a solo game, so we'll redraw that. Place a hero in any non war space, that sounds really useful. And then all we need to do is uh, <clears throat> place 12 items. Oh, I've dropped one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right, so we've got analysis at the institute, mirrored box at the mansion, a dart at the inn, two darts at the inn, whoops, that should be on there, a uh, searchlight from the precinct, experiments at the lab, Crucifix at the church, charm at the camp, uh, monocane mixture at the inn, bear trap at the shops, love the bear trap, garlic at the inn, and a violin at the camp. So yes, yeah, so the terror marker starts at three because everyone's terrified. Right, let us begin this escapade against all these evil, evil creatures. All the good items are up far away from us, that's a problem. So how it works in Horrified is there is a hero phase where all the heroes do up to their actions, which for our Professor of the Plum colour is four. And once all the heroes have done that, obviously only one in a solo game, then the monsters will do stuff based on the monster card. And it goes on and on until we've defeated all of these creatures. So we're going to go one, two three, four. We need to get all this stuff because we need the Institute and Lab stuff for the Invisible Man. Let's see what the creatures do. We get three items. We get a telescope at the mansion, a kite at the tower, and some research at the tower. Hurried assistant to place Fritz at the tower. Oh, okay. So Fritz wants to get to the Institute. So the only monster we activate is the frenzied monster, which is Dracula, who comes out of his crypt into the abbey, and there's no one there to attack. So that's that. Now I also want to get to the Institute, so what I'm going to do, with my special ability, I can move villagers one space. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then just gather all that. Fritz is now fairly safe with me. So let's see what happens. Oh, of course, no items. Sunrise, place Dracula at the crypt. Well, he picked the wrong time of day to come out of his crypt. Right, the invisible man moves one. That's all right. The frenzied monster, which is Dracula, comes back out of his crypt. Is he feeling all right? Something's wrong with him. Is he all right? All right. Now then, we're going to go one, two, three which uh, rescues Fritz and gives us one of these. Oh, another taxi ride. They were shuffled, I do promise. And then four, we'll get that one. 
So the lab and the institute is stuff we need at the precinct. And that, oh, we could move. Ah, mind you, there's lots of creatures. Lots of the monsters are up there. No, we, we won't use a taxi ride. Not yet. Not yet. Let's see what they do. Two items. A shovel at the graveyard and a spear gun at the institute. Hypnotic gaze. Move the hero or villager closest to Dracula three spaces towards him. That's un not unhelpful, but I would quite like to have got that. Uh, the invisible man moves one. Ooh. And the creature moves one. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's put them on the same space. They can be friends. So next we're going to go one, two. Gather all of those things up. Hmm. We're going to use a taxi ride to take us to the inn. That's not an action, so we've still got two more actions. It's obviously going to gather all of that. Three. Hmm. Do you know, we're going to use another taxi ride to take us to the cave where we're going to use the bear trap. We're going to tie this dart to the bear trap and smash it over and over again on Dracula's coffin just here in the cave for our last action. Perfect. All right, let's see how the monsters feel about that. Oh, aggressive is how they feel. No items. We don't have the mummy. We do have a Dracula who is now at the mansion and the invisible man is going to chase after us at the camp, which is exactly where we want to go. What we're actually going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four to the precinct. Perfect. So now as long as the creature doesn't move loads of spaces, we should be all right. Oh, we get no items. The creature actually retreats to the lagoon. And the only one that moves is Dracula to that bridge. He's spry now. I think he's annoyed that I was making fun of him and going backwards and forwards. Right, our turn. We're staying at the precinct because what we're going to do is we're going to put... We're going to supply the evidence of garlic. Mirrored box. The analysis at the institute. And the experiments at the lab. So we just need evidence from the barn now. Uh, that was all four of our actions, so now it's straight back to the monsters. Oh, no items. The creature retreats to the river. Okay. And Dracula is on the move once again. Okay. That's not, that's not bad. I think he's annoyed that I'm... Not only is he annoyed that I made fun of him going up and down here, but also he's probably annoyed because I broke one of his coffins with his special dirt. Never mind. Okay, but we still don't have new items. Mm. And there's a lot of monsters up, up here, so I don't really want to do anything at the camp. We probably want to run away a little bit. But we can't, we should maybe stay near the barn. There's some big items down here though for Dracula. Right, we're going to go to the tower. One, two, three, and we're going to grab these. Four. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, monsters. Oh, no items again. We don't have the mummy. Dracula chasing us. The Invisible Man also chasing us. Ooh, scary. Right, okay. We don't have red items to break that coffin in the dungeon. We don't have any barn items on the board so we're just going to run for it. One, two, three, four to the lab. Ha! Huh, items! Finally! Oh no! The fortune teller. Right, we've got a camera at the lab, a pistol at the precinct, and knife at the docks. Place mal... Uh, Place Maliva at the camp. 
Yeah, she wants to get to the shop and that's right next to the Invisible Man. And the Frenzied Monster, which is Dracula, moves one. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's move him towards us. And that's it. Right. Now here's the other, here's another thing. Like last time. One, two, three, four. I could get her to the shop straight away. And get a super duper special card. Yeah, let's. One, two, three. Shop. Rescued Maliva. And got me overstock. Each player draws and places one item from the item bag. I might as well do that now. Uh, oh, pitchfork at the barn. That's exactly what we need. We need something for the barn. We need evidence. We need evidence from the barn. Ooh. Right. So we get three items. A uh, torch at the barn, yes. We've got loads of stuff at the barn now. Another pitchfork and another torch. Wow. Worried fiancé, place Elizabeth at the mansion. Elizabeth wants to go to the tower. Our frenzied monster, Dracula, moves one. Well, that's going to be there no matter who he's going for. Right. Again, I could move Elizabeth straight to the tower. But then I'm not really getting... Myself moved around, am I? No, she's in a precarious situation. And I can't really make it safer going there. So one, two, three, four. Elizabeth rescued. Something good. Each player draws another overstock. Again, I might as well do that now. Anatomy text at the Institute. Okay. Got to get... Something happening. Two items. Another pistol at the precinct. An analysis at the institute. We don't have the wolfman. Right. So the creature goes to the bridge. Dracula hits me for two. Well, one damage. Let's get rid of the kite. Uh, I'm already there. And then the Frenzied Monster, which is also Dracula, so he's going to hit me again. Nah, he's going to miss. Sun must be coming up. Okay. This is a bit hairy. I do kind of... I'm going to just run for the barn. Come on then, creatures. Three. Uh... Fire poker at the mansion, flower at the docks, and research at the tower. Insane survivor place Renfield at the docks. And he wants to get to the hospital. So a Dracula moves two. And then a frenzied monster is also Dracula moves two. And we'll put him on the... Oh wait, hold on, moves two. So he's going to go towards me. He's attacking me again. Oh, he's hit me for one. Okay, we'll get rid of some something from the inn. Right, first action is this. Gather all that up. Uh, lots of stuff there. Lots of stuff. Then go two, three, four. I know I'm near monsters, but I can protect him. No items. No mummy. Whoa, Dracula moves one and attacks for two. He's really coming for me now. Okay, we lose an item. That's fine. Let's get rid of the dart. We threw a dart at him. Uh, and the invisible man is closing in a little bit there. Let's see about this. Right, we're going to go one, two, three for all of those things. And then our fourth action is to supply the evidence of the Invisible Man. Right there. So now we can trap him. We can trap him now. We can trap him. Right. We get three items. A rapier at the theatre. A silver cane at the shop. And a stake at the abbey. 
On the move, move the frenzy marker to the next monster. That's the creature now. Move each villager one space towards their safe location. Oh no, Renfield. And then the creature comes for him. And he's going to attack him for two. Oh no. Oh, he's fine. Oh my word. Renfield survived. Good old Renfield. Okay. We're going to go one. Our second action is to then trap the invisible man with a couple of torches. That's how it's done, right? Which defeats him because that's 10 and we only need a nine plus. That's the invisible man done. Uh, two more actions. We need to get away from the creature a little bit. But also we need to sort out the creature a bit. So let's go up to the camp for our last two actions. All right, monsters, three items. Ugh. So we have a canopic jar at the museum, garlic at the inn, and a centrifuge at the lab. On the move, move the frenzied marker. Dracula is now our frenzied monster and he comes for us. One, two, ooh, and he's on our space. Okay, we take one damage. Uh, let's get rid of the research of the tower. All right, let's see. Let's see. We're going to go first action, get rid of the telescope to move the boat. Second action, we're going to get rid of the crucifix to move the boat again. Third action, go down there. Fourth action, get to the mansion. Where are you trying to get to again? The hospital. Okay. Okay, let's see what the monsters do. Two items. The camp and the museum. Form of the battle place, Dracula with the current hero. That's all right. Then the invisible one, we don't have any of those monsters. Wonderful. Okay, now the hospital is three spaces away, but I've got things that can really hurt Dracula. So I'm going to go one, two, three, rescuing Renfield, which gives us brandishing a crucifix. Hmm. Then I'm going to move myself there, and then I'm going to brandish a crucifix and move Dracula all the way over there. You watch, someone's going to come out over there now. Let's see what the monsters do. Three items. Nebularium at the tower, wrote note at the institute, and a shovel at the graveyard. The ichthyologist placed Dr. Reed at the institute. Are you... where is Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed is at the institute. Right, so the creature moves one. That's going to be towards me, and Dracula moves one because he's frenzied. All right, okay, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. Uh, where did Dr. Reed need to go? The camp. Oof. Okay, we're going to go one. We're going to shoot up Dracula's coffin in the crypt. That's that gone. Two. Uh, three, four. We're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. Three items. So we have wine at the church. Where's the church? Uh, fossil at the camp and a crucifix at the church. The innocent placed Maria at the barn. Oh, dangerously close to Dracula, who then moves, but no one else. Excellent. Uh, oh, just leaving her. So close. Right, one, two, three. We're going to shoot up Dracula's graveyard coffin. Four. And now we do need to gather items. Let's hope Maria survives. I have a feeling she's not. Okay, we have a knife at the docks and a cosmic ray diffuser at the tower. I love a cosmic ray diffuser. We don't have the wolfman, but. He is going to one, two, three, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He's going to go there towards Maria. Dracula's going to go up towards Maria and attack her. She's safe, but unfortunately Dracula attacks her twice because he's frenzied. Oh my god! How did that happen? How did that happen? She wants to get to the camp. One, two, three, four. It's super dangerous up there, so I'm going to use all my actions. One, two, three, four. Saved. And we get Break of Dawn. I'm skipping the monster phase. I'm using that straight away. Let's just get two items. The, the anatomy text at the Institute. And the mirrored box at the museum. All right, so it's me again. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to take this. And we need some yellow items, so we're probably going to have to come back around this way. Yeah. Okay, monsters. Two items on the board. A rifle at the barn. And wolfsbane at the camp. Uh, we don't have the bride. The creature moves two right next to me and that's all that happens all right so we're gonna go one two obviously taking all of this three so much stuff and then four right there so we're gonna swing round gather some yellow Oh, mind you, his dungeon's up there, though. We can still, we can gather all of this stuff on our way around. Let's see what the creature does. No items. The, oh, the creature, the waterfront. Okay. And then Dracula comes out of the barn. Okay. So we're going to go... Ooh, we've got plenty of blue things. We're going to go one, two, three. Gather all this. Back out four. Come on, monsters. Two items. Rapier at the theatre. Flower at the docks. Uh, we don't have the invisible man anymore. The creature moves one towards us, so he's at the bridge. Okay. We haven't got how many rounds left. Alright, we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to use the Scroll of Thoth with our fourth action to advance the boat to find the lair. Yeah. Monsters. We get two items. A tablet at the museum and a kite at the tower. We don't have the invisible man. But the creature moves one towards us again. All right, right, four actions. So let's use the spear gun to advance the boat. Then we can use, as our second action, the mirrored box to advance it. Our third action is the pitchfork to get it there. And then our last action is the searchlight the boat is there. We found the lair. Now we just need to defeat the creature. Three items. I think. Oh no. I thought our item bag was empty, but it is not. Uh, Wolfsbane at the camp. Experiments at the lab. Centrifuge at the lab as well. Okay. Uh, former employee plays Dr. Cranley at the lab. Oh, it's all happening at the lab, isn't it? Where does he want to be? The precinct. Uh, we don't have the invisible man, but Dracula's on the move. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's move him towards us. Safer. Um, oh, I completely forgot. We rescued Dr. Reed when we got to the camp. So let's have that. So now it is our turn. We're going to go one, gathering all of that. Because why wouldn't you? Then we're going to use our rush to move there. Our second action is to scoop all of this. Our third action is to move up to the dungeon 
And our fourth action is to use the silver cane to destroy Dracula's last coffin. He has no more boxes of special dirt to hide in. He is out of there, no doubt. I shouldn't have said that, that's cursed it. It is now the monster's turn. So we have two items. A stake at the Abbey, prophetic, and a wine at the church. Uh, we don't have the bride. The creature moves two. Yeah, that's that's dangerous. And that's all that happens. Okay. We might have to risk Dr. Cranley's well-being. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then, in true form, we're going to defeat Dracula with Wolfsbane and a violin. That is Dracula defeated, and out of there that just leaves the creature from the Black Lagoon at the shops. Probably about to eat Dr. Cranley. Okay, here we go. We get two items. Uh, we have a poker at the mansion, then we need to refill our item bag with the discards to get... Ooh, Scroll of Thoth at the museum. Uh, we don't have the bride, the creature moves two and then attacks for one. Dr. Cranley is absolutely fine. Uh, we need a red item. So we can go one, two, three, four. That's the best we can do. That's the best we can do. Ooh, we get three more items. So we have a monocan mixture at the inn, a dart at the inn, and a torch at the barn. And now the enthralling, the enthralled Lucy at the theatre. Where's Lucy at the theatre? She wants to get to the mansion. Okay, the creature won't move, but he will attack Dr. Cranley again. And that kills him. That's our first victim. Our terror's gone up. Poor Dr. Cranley. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we take one step to the lab. And then our second action is to use the rapier, use a kite, and throw a harrow deck and throw a tarot deck at the creature to drive it away. Thus, we have saved the village in Horrified with only one casualty and five more rounds left in us. Well done, congratulations, that was thoroughly enjoyable. Horrified is one of those amazing little simple but really, really pulls you into it. Fantastic game. Thank you for joining me. Do all the YouTube things. Go and take a look on Kofi for us and we'll see you next time.